In this video, we're just going to build on what we've been doing for the, the last couple in this series. And the next thing that we're going to add in is an ammo counter to the player. So this will be a really quick one. It's very, very similar to what we did with the health pickup. Um, but we're just going to quickly build it in. So at this stage, before you kind of tackle this, you want to make sure that you've got your projectile and your shooting set up. Because it's going to be the easiest way for us to see exactly what's happening. So let's jump into Unreal and we'll get started with adding some ammo to the character. So I'm inside the task five map, um, same as before. So what I want to do now is I want to just add in the ability to kind of track how much ammo we have, how many bullets we actually have. Apologies if my desktop just kind of pinged off a strange noise. So the minute I've got this projectile in here, it's bound to my left click on my mouse. It's also set up for gamepad as well. So if anyone's not here, you can go back and you can check the previous lectures to get you to this stage. So what I want to do now is I want to make sure that it doesn't let me just fire infinitely so that it, we, we actually have like a limited amount of this so i'm going to pop in the blueprints i'm going to go into character and into my first person character and the next thing i'm going to do is make a new variable so just down here in the variables tab click on the the new variable button and we're going to call this ammo so ammo is just going to be an integer because it's just going to be a solid number i'm going to hit compile and i'm going to set it by default to be 10. Okay, so now I'm going to just move over to my scripting. And this is where I've got my shoot set up at the minute. So every time I press the shoot button, it kind of spawns a projectile from a location. The location is from my gun. So what I want to do here is I want to just do a quick check. So I want to get my ammo. I'm going to say, is it greater than zero? Meaning, like, do I have one bullet or more? So I'm going to drag off that and choose branch. So if that's true, then I want to fire a bullet. Okay. So real quickly, we'll give it a check. So we know that its default loadout is 10. Um, so there we go. I can shoot some bullets. If I was to pop in here and say, you know what, ammo is actually set to zero to begin with. Compile and play. Now I'm hitting it, but I can't shoot. So a nice debug way of doing this is if we drag up here and we do a print string. And this, when you do the UI lectures later, um, we'll, we'll hook this up to like some nice menus and stuff. Um, so we'll just say no ammo. So now when I hit compile and play, you can see it's saying I've got no ammo. So that works fine. We know that this check is working fine. So we can set our ammo back to 10. So what I want to do now is whenever we push shoot, we want that check to run. That's fine. If it's true, we want to, we want to fire a bullet, but then we want to reduce our ammo. So then we can grab this ammo. We can get it and there's a couple of different ways you can do this you can hit minus twice on your keyboard and you can do a decrement or you can get your ammo on minus one so we'll try the decrement for now so from there we're going to run that and then we're going to print string how much ammo we have so if i hit compile now and we play You see it's working. So basically what's running there is as soon as we hit shoot, checks do we have any bullets. If we do have bullets, it lets us fire a bullet. And then the next thing it does is it takes one off the amount we have and it just prints it on string. Um, if we don't have any bullets at that first check, it just tells us you have no ammo. So real, real simple way of doing it. Um doesn't take a lot of doesn't take a lot of extra scripting, a couple of little checks in there. And that's all we need to do to get it up and running. So it is very, very similar to the health system in that you're just we're just kind of doing these checks. Um, and these are just called branches. So branches are normally used for like a true or false. You can also check like multiples of branches. So you can do like an and. So you can check like two or three things at the same time. But for this little system, we don't really need anything extra than that. So if you do have this set up inside its own function, um, you might have made like a rapid fire that it gets called. You would just put this check 
and this minus inside that function as well. So the main thing to do is always make sure to check it. Do you have any to begin with? Do what you want to do in the middle and then update it as a result of it. There's no point in us taking the ammo off first because we need to make, actually make sure do we have any before we even start firing. So in the next video, we're going to run through just how we can make a little ammo pickup that's going to take this value and add some to it as well.